Welcome to the second part of our burger series. So guys, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. It doesn't cost a penny. Give it the old thumbs up to let YouTube know you're liking what you see. Been super excited about making this video, let me tell you. We've managed to get our hands on a special DIY box from the Beefy Boys. So you can actually buy their burgers online and get it sent to your home. Everything comes chilled, the meat, the buns and everything is ready to go. You just gotta grill them up and enjoy them at home. They do do takeouts from their restaurants as well. So we're gonna be cooking up the Dirty Boy, the Pastrami Boy, and also the PBJ, Peanut Butter Jelly. Now, if you don't know about the Beefy Boys, you seriously need to get to know about them. Great bunch of lads. I was very lucky enough to meet Murph at the Black Deer Festival this year. Great guy. All four of the guys are super down to earth. They've worked hard to get where they are today. They actually started off as a drunken barbecue, bunch of mates, having a few beers. They entered themselves into a competition in 2014. They actually won that. Then they got invited to go over to Las Vegas, where they came second. There's not much they don't know about burgers. Burgers. These guys use as much locally sourced stuff as they can. They use grass-fed, dry-aged Hereford beef for their patties. So they get their buns from an award-winning baker, Peter Cook. They've now got three restaurants. So they've got one in Hereford where they first started off. They've got one in Shrewsbury. And just recently, they've opened one up in Cheltenham. They turned that around in like four weeks. The opening of that is actually featured on Tom Kerridge's new series, which is actually called The Hidden World of Hospitality. They've also got a food truck where they drive around the country in. So if you want to find out a bit more about the Beefy Boys and a bit more about their burgers, I'll leave a link to their YouTube channel down below. Also, we're going to be doing a competition on this video. Nothing major. But I will be giving away a sticker. Worldwide free postage. So there's your sticker. I got a few things wrong when I cooked these burgers up and I did state what they were as it happened. So as you watch through the video, leave comments down below on what I forgot in what burgers. I will do a random draw or a live draw, something like that on the Facebook page. Totally free, worldwide, postage paid everything to the winner. Their ethos is dirty, dirty burgers, but made with love and passion. Most of all, quality ingredients. So what we're doing is we're toasting these buns. We've pre-buttered them and we're just gonna toast them off so it seals in all that goodness and you don't get soggy bread when you bite into it. It just holds all the juices in. It doesn't take long to seal them in. Sometimes it's best to press down in the middle just to make sure you get that even toast like that. That is perfect. That's what you're looking for. Dirty burger. So we're just getting the mayo on there. Okay, so this is Hereford beef what the beefy boys use. Get them down nice and thin. What you want. So we got this beefy boys seasoning. So season your meat, then get your dirty sauce. Flip one. Get your cheese on. So then you get the Swiss cheese and fake cheese, opposite sides. Get your dirty sauce on the other one. Bun on top, bottom on. Bit of water, steam them off. Perfect. The peanut butter jam burger and I cannot wait for this. This is their bacon jam. This goes on the bottom of the burger, so we'll do that now. Put that on there, get some more. Just make sure you get a good coverage of that. So that's the bacon jam on the bottom. Now we've got the peanut butter to go on the top of the bun. So Hereford beef. So we're just gonna smash that down as thin as we can. So you want a crust on these, that's why you leave them for as long as you can to get that crust. See that, that's what you want. That's called the Maillard reaction, that's flavour. They're looking good, right? So, next on the list is Swiss cheese, 
and fake American cheese because that is the best to have on any burger. It's got to be done, simple as that. Then we're going to get our pre-cooked bacon. Now, I should have put bacon on the dirty boy. I totally forgot. Schoolboy error. Getting excited to eat these burgers quicker than I needed to cook them. So I totally forgot the bacon. So with that being said, they normally put one on each patty. I'm putting two because I forgot on the dirty boy. Simple as that, pre-cooked bacon. You could re-liven it up if you want. This is crispy, just how I like it. You could chuck it on the plancher and liven it up and whatnot and then chuck it on, but this is how we're doing it. Look at that, oh my. On it goes. Squish it down, a little bit of water. Steam that off. Look at that steam, guys. Look at it. That's something they do. And to be fair, it really, really works. It's all part of the little tricks of the trade, just like buttering your bun. You know, it makes a massive difference. So with that being said, we're nearly there. Tick tock, tick tock. Not even joking. Tastes amazing. I had a little sneak taste test. Right, let's build this burger. Boom. Look at that. Patty over peanut butter with patty over so we got the dirty mayo for this pastrami boy last but not least so that goes on the bottom like that then we have the lettuce thinly sliced lettuce just like that then you get your two beef patties let's go smash and smear so you squeeze it down as much as you can and then smear then obviously it's got to be done that's that smell on its own just putting that on top of that beef is just like it's awesome stuff so while they're cooking pastrami on and while that's happening what we need to do is add the famous pickles to that and onion so we'll put the onion on first like that layers of flavor oh yes so let's get the pickles on pickle goes really well with pastrami that's obviously why these guys add that to this burger let's get that a bit over the edge there and while we're doing that we should have a nice crust on those burgers now so that's what you want layers of flavor perfect got a nice crust going on there my hard reaction which is caramelization now to add the swiss cheese fake cheese Then what they do is they take that off. They're ready. My brother's here with my nephew. They are getting a bit hangry. I'm just gonna quickly chop these up and have a taste. And <laughs> just looking at these, I'm just like, let's get a sensible knife out to uh, do the test. The great reveal, that's the peanut bar on the top. You got their bacon jam on the bottom, their Hereford bacon, the Hereford beef in the Hereford bun. Okay, so let's give this a hit. That works. I've got to say, I personally like peanut butter on toast and all that sort of business. When I spoke to people about peanut butter and bacon jam, they're like, oh, no, I don't know about that. It works really well, but I am someone who likes peanut butter on toast, so might be a bit biased with that one. That works awesomely. Cannot say no more with that. Right, purely because my brother is sitting there and my nephew's sitting there and they are like proper. Not eating all day. <laughs> they're, they're, they're... Have you been working for you? <laughs> They've been very patient. I'm just going to pass this over so you can get their honest opinion in the background. Oh my god. I've got to say, that bacon jam is awesome. Works very well. Oh my yeah, god. Very nice. 
The peanut butter's got a hint of heat to it. Don't know what they've put in there, paprika, something like that maybe, I don't know, but. It works well, trust me, honestly, it seriously works well. Move that to one side. Okay, so they're in the background now like, at last, Duncan, we're eating. So with that being said, I'm gonna move what I would say the pièce de résistance, the dirty boy. They all consisted of Swiss cheese, fake American cheese. As I say, this one should have had bacon in it. My bad. This is a dirty sauce. I'm guessing it's a little bit like that bacon jam. It's looking good. Let's give it a go. Mm. Again, a great burger. The Swiss cheese adds a slight bit of nuttiness to it, a sweetness to it. Yeah, it works well, like that one. To be fair, I prefer the peanut butter one. Let's get the boys eating. Oosh. Thank you all. Ah, oh, so you give me the small bit. <laughs> Trust me, there's that there if you want it. Last but not least is this mass of naughtiness. There's a whole element of next level flavor going on with that. So you've got the dirty mayo, you've got the lettuce, you've got the raw onion, you've got the pickles, which goes really well with the pastrami. Obviously the Hereford beef patties, the cheese topped off with pastrami. The pastrami boy. That's just naughty on so many levels. And that bun, their buns, admittedly, yeah, they're spot on. Shut up, Duncan, just eat. Mm-mm-mm, mm, -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. That one definitely smashed it. Pastrami, just can't go wrong. Like Cat's Deli in New York, when you have a pastrami sandwich, and I've made my own pastrami over the years, and you cannot go wrong with pastrami, mustard, this, that, and the other. That is awesome. Again, on this one, I forgot to add mustard. When the boys fry the patties, they drizzle a bit of mustard over the raw side of the patty, then flip it after seasoning it. I did forget that, but with that being said, that's awesome. My brother and my nephew are looking at these like, come on, we're hungry. Beefy boys definitely know their stuff. They definitely know their burgers. Just great burgers, simple as that. If you like the video, guys, please remember to like and subscribe, totally free. And I'll see you when I see ya. And don't forget, with my juicy burger hands. Don't forget to cook something exceptional. Get in.